Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I'm here with my telescope here, which I haven't had out for a, quite a while on the channel actually. I think the last time I used it was to uh, film the sun on a live stream and I've not done any videos for a couple of weeks as well. I've not been all that well actually, but I'm back now, hopefully back to doing some more videos. So what I wanted to talk about in this video is I had a bit of a problem connecting a camera to this telescope here. What I wanted to do was I wanted to connect my DSLR to the camera there just by attaching to the back of the, the telescope using an adapter but unfortunately I have an electric focuser on the telescope you can see the electric focuser down here and that was getting in the way of the camera now the the way that I filmed the sun was actually using this smartphone holder which I have done a video on I'll do a link to the video where I show how I set up the smartphone holder and how I actually got a picture of the Orion Nebula. Absolutely amazing. I'll do a link to that. There should be a link just above here and there'll be a link to it at the end of this video. But what I really wanted to do was to connect my digital SLR camera to the telescope. I'm just gonna look at the back of the telescope now and I'll show you the problem that I had. Okay, I've just taken off the eyepiece holder off the back of the telescope and I've put on the adapter here, the Celestron T adapter for my camera. And I'll just show you the problem I'm having. If I start to try to attach that to there, can you see how the electric focuser, this gadget here, is in the way? It's not an option, by the way, to take this off. This has to stay on the telescope because it's very, very important to have an electronic focuser. So I'm not taking that off. I just need to find a way to get the camera further away from the telescope. There is a way to do it. I'll just show you now. Okay, check this out. I've actually put on my two times converter on the camera. Can you see here this gadget here, two times converter? Now this takes the camera further away from the focuser. So let's see if it'll uh, fit on now. Look at this. Oh, I think I've got round it, folks. Look at that. I've managed to find a workaround, but there's a bit of a catch. There you go. It's on there now. But like I said, there's a little bit of a catch to having the camera you fitted to the telescope using the two sound converter. So as you can see there, I managed to connect the camera, but I could only connect it using this two times converter because of the distance it took the camera away from the electric focuser. But the problem with that is I was zoomed in too much. It's a two times converter. And not only that, but it reduces the amount of light coming into the camera by two stops. So it wasn't an ideal fix. Now I did buy a new camera and I had the same problem with that. I'll just show you that now. Okay, so this is my newest camera. It's a Panasonic S5 II. I've spoke about it in a previous video. And to be quite honest, I would have had the same problem with this camera if I'd have been using the, the Celestron T adapter. Now, unfortunately, they don't make the T adapter for this type of camera, which uses a Leica L mount. So what I've done is I've managed to get hold of something that solves my problem using this camera here. I want to show you this thing here. Okay, check this out. Now this is an adapter for my Panasonic camera and it converts the mount on the camera to a Nikon mount. So look at that there. Can you see that there? It says there KNF Concept Nick G to L. So when I put this on the Panasonic camera, I can use my old Nikon lenses. And not only that, but I can also attach it to the telescope because can you see the width of the adapter it's, it acts a bit like the converter i was showing you before except this does not do anything to the field of view all it does is change the bayonet from panasonic to nikon and that will solve my problem i'll just show you now okay check this out i've got the nick g to l converter on the panasonic here and i've got the adapter on it allows me to put the same adapter from a Nikon camera onto here. I don't know if Celestron do an actual adapter for this uh, camera. So I managed to get, what I, what I thought I'd do is I'd get an adapter for the camera. So let's see if this works, shall we? Look at this. Oh, look at that. Can you see? It's actually got us away from that focuser there and it's gonna fit on the, the telescope. Look at that, folks. How about that, amazing. That 
did the trick. The adapter for the camera, camera lens did the trick. Look, it's well away from the focuser. There's no way it's in the way there. And uh, that did the trick. So there you go, how about that? I've managed to solve the problem with my new camera using the Nikon adapter for the Panasonic uh, bayonet, turning the L bayonet into a Nikon. And this is like magic, this fish, really, really good. This is so cool. Can you see this lens I've got here? It's a 50 millimeter Nikon lens. I've had it for ages. And I can now stick this on here. Look at that there. I can now use that Nikon 50 millimeter lens on my Panasonic camera. Now, of course, there's no electronics between the lens and the camera. There's no electronics in the adapter and the focusing will be manual. But the main thing is you can use, I can use all of my old Nikon lenses on this camera, albeit it's all gonna be manual. So that is really good. I'm so happy about that because now I can connect my camera to the telescope and there won't be any zooming in. I'm not using an, a, a two times adapt, two times converter like I was before. It's gonna be amazing. I'll be able to film the sun. I'll be able to take pictures of the moon and, and all that sort of thing. So look out for those videos, will you? And if you're interested in an adapter or anything else from KNF, you might want to check out my video on my other channel where I've reviewed some of the, or I did like a, an example of the filters because they make filters for cameras and I did that on my other channel. I'll put a link to that in the description and I'll also put a link to um, their site here where you can get something like this yourself. They do all sorts of stuff, filters, tripods, all that sort of stuff. So there you go, that's it. Look out for more videos where I'll be hopefully using this camera with the adapter and the telescope and seeing what we can get. It's going to be pretty amazing. I can't wait. So there you go. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe and don't forget to keep looking up.